they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frown. Gang hop out, then we clear them. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coley from Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest from Florida, L.O.E. Shimmy. What's good, man? It's I'm mean, the man in the building. How you feeling? I'm feeling good in New York, enjoying everything, working, grinding. Yeah, how's tour life treating you? How you feeling? Yeah, it's fun, I ain't gonna lie. It's lit. <laughs> just ready to get back home, nah. Been gone for like a month and a half. Okay, how many more shows you got? <clears throat> Shit, like five. Five more. Okay, so you wrapping up. You coming yeah, to the end. we almost done. All right, cool. So we're gonna play rapid fire questions. I'm gonna ask you a question. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. All right, bet. What's the most toxic city? In Florida, because they know you're from Broward County. So, what's the most toxic city in Florida? Or is it your city? Florida. <laughs> Probably like Miami. Miami. Toxic. Okay. okay. Um, what's the most useless thing you've memorized? Useless thing I've memorized? Yeah. Something you remember is like, why the fuck do I remember that? Whatever that ain't about no money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But what's the hardest lesson a woman taught you? Not to trust them. Okay. What's um, one thing you never told your ex? That I love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you never told her that? Okay. All right. Um, ha If you had to pick one cartoon character to be your bestie, who would it be? Cartoon character? Mm-hmm. Shit. You watch cartoons or not? I'm trying to think of one right now. <laughs> Hard one. That'll be your dogs. Like, that's my son. Like I'm trying to think. <laughs> Power Ranger? Yeah. Hey, you have a color or just one of them? Blue. Blue? All right, all right. If you had to pick three celebrities that you would rob a bank with, who would it be? Three celebrities I'd rob a bank with? Yeah. Adele. The Weeknd. Adele, The Weeknd, and who? Sade. And who? Shade. Shade. Yeah. What up? You don't know who that is? You don't love music for real. Shorty, shorty. Shade. Shade. Yeah, singer. Yeah, singing. Yeah, Go okay. I'm not in tune. I'm not in tune. She R and B? Yeah, she got Okay, it. she's R and B. Okay, I'm not in tune like that. All right, and um last one, best line to get a girl's number. Best line to get a girl's number? Mm-hmm. What's your number? <laughs> That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so tell us how you got into music, for real, for real. Um, I mean, just in my hood, freestyling, like, all my life I've been listening to music, like, you feel what I'm saying, all, like, all the old music, like, like my mama love music, she always playing music, you feel what I'm saying? And I got a little iPod, my mama got a little iPod in school, and I just, like, all my life I just been, I just been in love with music, you feel what I'm saying? Probably like five, six years ago, I recorded my first song. Mm -hmm. I recorded my first song and I was just dropping stuff on SoundCloud, just dropping on SoundCloud, like not really taking it serious, you feel me? And then probably when I dropped that relapse, that's when I really, I think I dropped that relapse like four or five years ago. That's when I really started, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me go ahead and like get in the booth and really dropping music, dropping videos and shit, really trying to take it serious. Okay. All right. So I guess who kind of motivated you to finally get in the studio and like start taking it serious for real? Cause I know you've been listening to music, so. Yeah. I mean, just like, just me and like, me and my niggas, we just started fucking around, like, we just started fucking around, like, bitch, let's hit the stool. My, my, um, a nigga from my hood, he on a stool. We like, we just okay. started fucking around, like, bro, let's hit the stool, like, let's do oh, it, okay. you know so you had access to a studio. Yeah. Shit. Okay. All right, so if you wasn't doing music, what do you think you would've been doing? Grinding, running it up. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, so was your family supportive of the music? I mean, or it took them time to like get with it. I mean, like, yeah, my family, no, my family support me, but ain't nobody gonna believe in you like at the beginning, cause like, that's like somebody come, that's like, feel me? You like, you go tell your family right now, I'm gonna be a rapper, like. And shit might be ass and ass as fuck, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they fault you, they gonna support you, but like. This shit ass. I'm not gonna. Nobody gonna put no ass shit in front of everybody's face, even if that's their people or not. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you gotta really show. You gotta grind and show everybody like. You finna do this shit, and then once they see like, once you, once they see like you serious, you gaining fans, you in motion for real. Okay. That's when the support comes. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Do you remember your first supporter though? 
Me. <laughs> Aside from you, though, like, was it? So, God. God? Okay. Yeah. That's real. That's real. All right. So, um, I guess being from Florida, how did you feel like that developed your sound? Because you was obviously, was obviously listening to other people. So, like, where do you feel like your sound came from? I feel like it's different. Probably, like, my sound probably came from, like, like that throwback music. Like, because, okay. like, my, my mama, she listens to a lot of reggae and, like, old school, like, Sade, shit like that. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, my son, I know that's where my sound came from, for sure. Okay. All right. Is there anybody else that was coming up from your town that I guess, or are you paving the way for Broward County? Nah, hell nah. It's a lot of it's a lot of other artists. A lot of artists out there? Shout out all them boys, all the upcoming artists from uh, like Broward, Miami, everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it's a lot to name, but you feel me? I just want to shout out all them boys. Everybody keep going, keep grinding. Mhm. Okay. Who do you get compared to with anybody? Do you feel like people compare you to other artists? Mm. Probably, but I don't really. No, you don't pay that stuff no attention? No. Okay. All right, so being on tour, how did you get the news you was about to be on tour? Um, My team had hit me up. They was like, um, we finna go, like, let's do, I, I was on Raw 49 and Skelly Baby tour. Mm-hmm. And then my team had hit me up, like, they, like they want you on the Sexy tour, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm like, fuck it, let's rock out. You know, I mm-hmm. fought with Sexy heavy. Damn, so you went from tour to tour. Like, yeah. you didn't have no break. No break. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so um, so what was the most turned city so far? St. Louis, sexy shit. I about to say. Boy, she she had yeah, that shit. She turned that bitch to like, she a turned festival. that bitch to a festival, damn man. Yeah, yeah. Gang. She popped it. Okay. That shit. Turned. All right, and then um, I know Kodak came on a little bit later. Yeah. But I know you worked with Kodak. So how did you find out? Well, how did you feel finding out he was gonna be on tour with y'all? That's lit. It was like, oh shit. Like, yeah, that's lit. Shout out all the artists on tour. Yeah. That's motion. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess if you have to give anybody tips with going on tour, what tips would you give them? Get ready. Get ready to be away from home. <laughs> get ready to be away from home. Get ready to be from hotel. Oh, so you feeling homesickish? Yeah. Yeah. That shit get uncomfortable after a little bit, but you gotta keep grinding. Yeah. Right. All right. So, when did you I guess? When did you see notice your music started going up? Mm. I mean, just by the years, just just by the years, just keep being consistent, just getting fan by fan, like. Mm-hmm. Was it like it was again heavy in your city? Like they kept running you down. Yeah. You had to like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just see like, I, cause I watch my numbers. I watch things like oh, that. You know what I'm saying? Numbers. Yeah. I okay. watch it like that. And I see. I got. I, I got a real fan base. Little fan base that I built up for years. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that shit just happened. Like, I wasn't really paying attention to it. I just kept grinding, and that bitch just happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just. Each song, like yeah, each cause. song that I like, it just look like an algorithm. Like you might drop, this might buzz, you might drop here, it might 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 not do nothing, but then you drop mm-hmm. two, three times later. Now this your biggest song. Like you know what I'm saying? You just gotta yeah. keep grinding, keep trying. Like ain't already no formula to this shit. All right, when you watch your numbers, does it make you like change how you work in the studio, or is just like you just want to keep being consistent? And I just keep being consistent. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I just keep being consistent. You just keep vibing in the studio. Just keep vibing, high vibing, and just just keep dropping, having fun with this shit. Don't let nobody take the fun out of it for me. Mm-hmm. Um, you be reading your comments? Not like that. Not like that. All right, so a lot of people was complaining that for me was so short. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they was. <laughs> Facts. So like, um, mm-hmm. do you do you think that's a thing? Like, some people say the song don't gotta be that long. Yeah. Was he freestyling? Like, was it a reason it was short? Yeah, I made up in like twenty minutes off the head, but. <laughs> I ain't had nothing else to say. I let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit. That's all I had to say. Yeah. <coughs> all right. So you linked up with so many people. Monica, Rob Fortnite. You met Lil Dirk. You met all these people. So um, who was you most surprised to see that fuck with your music? Shit, I'd probably say like Dirk. <laughs> Lil Dirk. Yeah. Fuck with Dirk Heavy, man. He know that shit. Oh, God. Um, and meeting people, I guess, what was some advice that you heard or... What was something that somebody told you was like, this was some real shit? Nah, they just be like, you feel me saying? I salute them, they salute me, you feel me saying? I mm-hmm. just let them know like, that shit mean a lot to me because 
these people I've been listening to for years, you know what I'm saying, since I was like, you feel me, 15, 16, so mm -hmm. you not knowing that you're gonna be in the room with them, you feel what I'm saying, so that shit legendary. Mm -hmm. I just endure the moment, like, you know what I'm saying, because moments like that, that should keep me hungry, keep me going, yeah. you feel me, watch them, watch my shit, and go watch them go out there and rock out, everybody singing that shit, like, I need to see the level this shit can get to, you feel what I'm saying, no, so I can know where I'm at, like, it ain't really, you know what I'm saying, I gotta get, it's way more, shit get way, way bigger. No, nah, definitely, definitely. All right, and then you also are on the Rolling Loud, but it's mm -hmm. not your first Rolling Loud, though. No, nah, this is my first Rolling This is so, like my third. Yeah, so you did Miami before, though. Yeah. Um, how did, And then did you do another city, like Florida or something? Um, no, Cali, right? Cali. Cali, right. All right, so what's the difference between, like, Miami and, like, because I know it hits harder when you're in your home yeah, city. Yeah, that shit so. hit harder. <laughs> More support, like, they screaming and shit, like, they just rocking out. That's yeah. why I went, when we go on tour, like, even with the uh, skill of Bay Rock on our tour, we want to fall out of that on my latest show. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? It's, they, it didn't make it easy for me. They would. How do you get ready to like get on stage? Like, what you be doing? Like, how do you prep? I go to, I, I, I pull up, go to my back room, eat, you feel what I'm saying? Get some food, <laughs> okay. go shower, take a shower, uh -huh. um, set up the studio back there. I got a studio set up. I get on my breathing machine because I got asthma. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got asthma, so I get on my breathing machine. Then roll up and okay. for, and just record. Put on my clothes. So how does that work with the asthma with recording though? Like, I mean that shit just like sometimes I be having asthma attacks. Sometimes you feel me? Ass? Yeah. So when I be, but like just I just make sure I can try to stay consistent on the pump. You feel me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that shit just to avoid that. Okay. Yeah. God will. You gonna push through it. Type for sure that. All right. So how did you meet your team? Cause I see you got it tatted, like y'all locked in. Yeah, we locked in. I got <laughs> down. I met these boy like what four years ago, probably. Yeah, like four years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And I was going to their studio, New Era Studios. Feel me? Mm -hmm. They had FCG him sign. You feel me? Saying like them boys been doing the music oh, shit. Is, yeah. yeah. And I met the engineer 808. Like that's who helped me get my sound right. You feel me? Like who mm -hmm. stayed in the booth with me and really, like you feel me? Saying because when you first starting off, like people ain't really gonna believe in you or really be patient with you. You feel me? But shout out to my brother 808, like, he stayed patient in that booth with me, helped me, like, find my sound and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now we here now. Okay. Same team, feel me saying? From when I was nine, like, probably 3,000 followers to now, same niggas. Wow. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so, we met them, y'all locked in, you got your sound going. So how is it with the fans now? Because I know the girls is, like, on you. Yeah. <laughs> so I, how's that? I, I love my supporters a lot. I appreciate them so much. Mm -hmm. I love them more than they love me. You have more girl fans or guy fans? More girl fans. Yeah. I it love gives. the women. I respect women a lot. It gives. Are you like a romantic type or no? Yeah, like if I'm fucked up by some shit. <laughs> okay. If I'm fucked up by some shit, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can get romantic. Yeah. You've been heartbroken before? Mm hmm. When I go okay. broke. All right, so we're going to play a little game. Um, so this is more on the fun side. So it's, this game's called She's a 10 Butt. So I'm going to say she's a 10 butt. And whatever I say, you tell me what number she is. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's a 10, but she a bartender. She's still a 10. She like she's an 8, 7. She's still a 10. Still 10. Depending on she, she being friendly as fuck at work. <laughs> All right. She a 10, but she still lean. Not a 10. <laughs> what number is she? Zero. Zero. <laughs> okay. Can't be off the mud, baby girl. No. Yeah, I feel like girls drinking lean is crazy. Most she could do is pull my cup up. Mm. Yeah, like drinking lean is crazy, but this is me trying shit. All right, she a ten, but she insecure. Like she needs a lot of reassurance. Like she's still a ten, cause I'm gonna just reassure her every day. Okay. Mm. So you with that? Like long as I'm gonna get her confident. All right, cool. We're gonna put that shit on. We matching Ricks, all that. Bust our chain, bust our neck down. Right, cause you bust down. How now much she, you drop on your shit? Just two hundred. Okay. Hundred for the pendant. Was that your first big purchase? Yeah. Type shit. Okay, that's what's up. Cause I, I know. Mean, I want to say my first big purchase. You know what I'm saying? But like, this just it was just a little trophy, just mm -hmm. for you feel me. Do so you feel like you're responsible with your money? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going back. I seen your trash man. You lost like um 10k or something like that and it's yeah. definitely that 15k <laughs> so on my birthday that was my birthday weekend that's when, <laughs> I, that's when i dropped my tapes on Belen too that's my biggest tape that's a, that's what for me all that's on that tape yeah 
and I had a release party. That shit was stupid, like a little private party. Uh-huh. And bro, that that whole weekend was just I was you I was, was just fucked up. Having too much. I was fun. having too much fun. <laughs> left the Louis bag, left the Louis bag, and like my brother bought me some Cardi glasses, and my other brother brought me like like um what's the name? Okay. And. I just lost it all. I don't remember. It was a lot happening. It was the album release. Lost the bus down, car glasses, lost the cheese. All in the Uber. Left it in the Uber. Yeah. With the Louis bag. And it was in the Louis bag. Yeah, that nigga did not <laughs> give that shit back. <laughs> right. Um, she a 10, but her ex is a rapper. She a 10, but her ex is a rapper. Mm-hmm. I mean, she could still be a 10, but I ain't from the wife. Okay. All right. She a 10, but her toes not done. Zero. <laughs> gotta have them toes. <laughs> Baby girl, zombie land, love. You gotta have them toes done. Zero. All right. She a ten, but she keep a gun in her purse. She a ten. She a ten. She you gonna blow with me or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She just staying safe. She just staying safe. Yeah. All right. She a ten, but she love her mom. It depends, cause she could still be a ten. Cause, cause I'm a, just help me run it up. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Just help me run it up. Some people, some people just ain't ain't had nobody to motivate them to hustle. Okay. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to boss up. But if she ain't trying to get, if she ain't trying to grind with me, zero. Okay. And then, All right. All right. She a ten, but she want a feature from you. She do music. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get off first. You said what? Gotta get off first. <laughs> You need that bread for that feature. You need that. <laughs> Make your label wild me a son, baby girl. She Maybe still been it. All right. She uh 10, but she posted being out with you on your first date. Zero. Never going to see her again. <laughs> okay. When the last time you been on a date? Do you even have time to like, do all that? You busy as hell. I'm busy as fuck. Yeah. I ain't been on a date. <laughs> I ain't been home in so long. Yeah. I don't even, yeah. What's the first thing you going to do when you get home? Shit, I'm gonna go like my family, family and shit. straight to the family. They all pick me up in the airport. Ten black trucks. We going out to hang out. Family time. Go eat dinner. Chill in a mansion. Okay, okay. So you just want some family time? Yeah, mama cook, home cook meals. Home I'm chilling with the family. Go get my son. Yeah. We chilling. Okay. How old is your son? He be three. Okay. So how is that? Like That's having good. to be so busy. That shit take me away from my family a lot, but you know what I'm saying? I got to sacrifice right now so we could be better. So we could, you know what I'm saying? It's either you going to get them all your time and be broke as fuck and be none, or you going to sacrifice a little bit of time and bitch change change this shit forever. Mm-hmm. So what does success look like to you, like, moving forward? Because like? I know you probably feel it now, but, like, what does it look like long term for you? 50 diamond plaques. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Other businesses, other income streams, you know what I'm saying? Got my whole family straight. Everybody eating, everybody up. We all out of the trenches, everybody out of the way. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? We ain't got none of money, ain't no problem no more. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Now, the only problem is, like, what? what's the next investment? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Do you have um, other businesses that you would want to invest in? Yeah, still plenty. Out? What, what nah. else do you want to do? Like, merch or something? Shh. Bulletproof, bulletproof truck company. For real? Yeah. yeah. Buy and flip highs. It's all type of shit. Yeah, a lot of artists been getting like bulletproof like trucks. Fabio had bought like bought one out here in New York. Yeah, you gotta have that. Yeah, you is gotta, that a thing in Florida too? Yeah, everybody. Yeah, you gotta have that. Other lands. Okay, okay, okay. Is it hard to get one? Like, no, you just gotta have that money. Gotta, yeah, you just gotta know the people. Okay, that's that's. You awesome. gotta have that chicken up. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So um, so, so tell us about Zombie Land too. Like, what inspired that project? Like, what made you like, all right, I'm going to do a part two? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I say, like, I dropped that project. Like, before I dropped that project, I was chilling for, like, two years. Like, I wasn't really, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like, because I've been telling them, like, I'm going to drop this tape, Zombieland 2, Zombieland 2. But you feel me? I was chilling for a little bit, like, just trying to get shit right. You feel what I'm saying? Like. But- you feel me? Cause I'm, we still independent, so you know life. You know you know how it goes. Yeah, shit, you still got personal shit. Out. Yeah, you still got life shit, but you gotta run right. this shit up. And then got down. I started getting back consistent again, dropping singles. We dropped like five, six singles back to back, like Murder Dance, mm-hmm. Walking Mini Me, yeah, shit like that. There, and but we like fucking, man, we ready for the tape. You feel me? After like two years, 
they kept asking like for two years straight they asking if like they don't give a fuck what i'm posting bro we don't give a fuck about this what a tape like you feel me that's what they commented and then fuck it we like we're gonna give it to them we ready okay and it was all perfect timing you feel me saying like yeah. it was perfect timing all right um was it like picky picking the songs that that was gonna be on it i mean are you picky like when you're in the studio yeah, I'm picky, but like not to the. No, I'm picky, but I ain't like where it's bad to where it's like, you yeah, know what I'm saying. I just want. I just finish. want my shit how I want it. It's my right. art. You feel me? Yeah. I don't need. I don't. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't. Nobody can tell me nothing about me. Like you feel what I'm saying? This my art. Like this me expressing myself. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Don't nobody know me better than me. So what the what the fuck I say go. Like that's what's gonna go. Like if I say I want this on there, this song going on there. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. no. You feel me? It's yeah. my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right. When picking songs, though, who, who, I guess, if anybody, do you let, like, hear the music? My whole team. Your whole team? Yeah. I Did let I them. All they, that, them the only people can have an opinion. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Of course, because they helped you, like, develop yeah. the sound yeah. and stuff, so they know what to... Okay, like, okay, okay. All right. So, what are you working on? Or are you about to just chill out for the rest of the year? after tour like what's next for you i'm about to drop another tape um november yeah. 1st naughty world so you non-stop with it yeah i'm about okay. to drop that naughty world we're gonna drop a few more singles it's from my little brother naughty okay passed away naughty world when Gosh. how long ago he passed away shit what like two years ago now okay i don't really know i don't really know how long that shit right like two years okay all right and how was your brother look what happened how did you deal with that just keep going. I see blood brother or like just one of your close friends. Nah, that's my. You might as well say we blood. Okay. Period. You might as well say. Okay. You might as well say we came out the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's my family. All right. So, part um, dropping another project. On behalf of your brother. Mm-hmm. Um, what else are you working on? Um, we're gonna drop a few singles. I'm just staying in tape mode right now. I'm okay. a, I'm in tape mode and tour mode at the same time. So. Okay. Feel me, every city I hit, I'm just trying to pull that booth out and work. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that that's that's really it. Um, we finna go. We about to go after this. Just try to forget it, get the songs finalized. Like okay. you feel what I'm saying? But along the way, I like along the way, they it, like they already know. Like I, I don't stop recording, so it might be some other shit I want to throw on there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So you record everywhere? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anywhere, I can, anywhere I can, like. So you're just like always inspired, or is it just like? Different vibe, different feelings. Like. Different vibe, different feelings. Like, you feel me? I might, I might ride through New York late night and like see all the see, city lights and yeah. be like, you feel me? Saying, now nah, I want to get in that one of those places. Yeah, like, New York. Like, that's yeah. what. That's one thing I can say about New York. Like at night, like that's one of the most beautiful things yeah. you ever gonna see. I'm gonna show you the roof. You can see the whole city. Yeah, the back. and it's like beautiful and like the lights inspire me. You yeah. feel me? That's one thing I do like about rooftop. Well, New York, like the rooftops, like you can see the whole city. It's, yeah, it's motivation. Yeah, it's motivation. You go to um. But like my Florida, you got palm trees and shit. Yeah, yeah. That, so that's like yeah. a vibe too. It's a vibe, but you know, it's like when you out of your. Sometimes you got to get out your comfort zone. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? See something new, mm-hmm. real quick. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. I just so you like, like traveling? Yeah. Okay. What's one place you want to travel to that you haven't yet? Probably like Greece. Okay. Yeah, like out the country there. type shit. Okay, have you been out the country? Nah, I just I just got my my passport. I wasn't oh, so allowed. I, I wasn't allowed to travel. Uh, I was on probation. Okay, and I'm a felon, so like, that's a whole process. Yeah, it's a whole yeah. process. But now nah, I just got a probation after like five six years. Okay. Nah, I just got my passport. I'm gonna get up out of here. Okay. Do you um you so you say you watch your numbers? You got fans overseas and stuff. You know that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember we did. Like, I we're went, in, like, the UK or, like, where? I went to the, I don't know yet. I know they <laughs> tried to go see. Me, they tried to book me for a show in Toronto. Okay. But um, I'm a felony. I can't go over there. Oh. So I'm, I told them, like, fuck. But, like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I wanted to go over there so Yeah, bad. that would have been lit. That would have been lit. So we couldn't even go to that. We had to, you feel me saying? Drake, bitch, get me over there. <laughs> right. Mm. Clear that. Clear that for me. Please, Drizzy. <laughs> Open those waters. Now we're but okay, but you got your passport, you about to start traveling. Yeah, I, I we went to Bahamas. I got I got one stamp on the Bahamas. Okay. But that was for um You were like, or working? Nah, we had a show, me, sexy on we had a show on a cruise. Oh yeah. Me, sexy red, Brian Messiah, Rob Full Nine, La Baby, Future. Okay. All that type of shit. It was okay. it was and then when we got the when we got to Bahamas, um when, once we got to Bahamas, we got off the boat and shit, my black church was waiting for me and it was it was like a nigga pulled up 
in a little in a little like box work truck mm -hmm. and the wheel was on the right side instead of the left yeah that nigga pulled that nigga turned, that nigga stopped right in front of us he like bro you little shit let me get a picture of that shit. I got yeah. my camera ain't got a video of that shit. I'm like, damn, nigga, like you know me over here. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that nigga, that nigga, that nigga's steering wheel was on the right side. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? That's, he fucked different. me up right like, there. Yeah, I know overseas is different. They drive on the right side. It's like all Yeah, I ain't different. never seen no shit like that. That nigga yes. pulled up on me. I said, yeah, he just popped. What's your like craziest fan interaction though? Craziest like, fan. I ain't gonna lie, the other the what that was. Hey, what show that was? That was the other day, but they done put me in the crowd for real. <laughs> the girl, that you, was the first cause time. Cause you like, be close to the crowd and they do be reaching. So like, like I, I gave them a hug and like, like they really like. Try to pull you down. And I ain't gonna lie, they really was like, they had me though. It was like, girls they, or yeah, it was everybody? It was girls, but like it was too much of them. So <laughs> they had me like, you feel me? And I, yeah. I'm already lit on that Don Julio. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I, I just hope security come save me because they got me right now. They got my arms, my you chain, can't everything. Even fight back. Yeah, it's no fighting back. Like I'm 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 weak right now. They straight had me. I see security like security like having like that yeah. okay. I was in that crowd for sure. Damn, what city was this? Hey, that was New York. That was last night. That was last night. New York, they aggressive. New York, them they girls. Aggressive out here. Hey boy, them <laughs> girls don't play. I say, damn. Like, they aggressive out I'm here. like, bro, they got me, dog. If their boys don't come save me, it's over with. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, New York is aggressive. They had a chain, funny. everything. They had chain, arms, all the way up there. I say, fuck okay. it. So it, it usually be the girls that be going crazy. Yeah, it's the girls. And I, you feel me? I ain't on it. Like, I, I love the women, so you feel me? I'm yeah, never aggressive let them with rock. them. I let them rock. You want to pull me, baby girl? Pull me. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, Um, would you ever get into, like, acting or something? I mm. mean... Or are you just chilling right now? You just focus on music. Yeah, I'm just chilling right now. I, I got to get more, like, you feel me? I got to get better behind the camera and shit like okay. that. You know what I'm saying? Are you like, camera shy? Not really camera shy, but, like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not always in the mood for it. Okay. <clears throat> you know? So you're like, Moody, what's your sign? Aries. Okay. I'm not always in the mood for it, so sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I just It really just depends on the day. I feel like you, to be an actor, you got to always be in the mood. You got to be ready all the time. Yeah. I ain't really, like, good. Like, I'm not always in the mood yeah, for it. Yeah, artists, you can kind of pick your own schedule yeah. and, like, mm -hmm. vibe out, facts, facts, facts. So, you feel me? In the future, you never know. Like, you feel me? You okay. See what it yeah, yeah. I think that would be cool. Yeah. I think you should act. I think you should try some shit. But, yeah. All right. So... What advice would you give an upcoming artist that's like on their way up or trying to figure it out? Shit, keep What's grinding. What's something you wish you knew earlier? Keep grinding, keep going. Like you gonna start out, when you start out, you gonna have you and God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you better make do with that shit, you know? Okay. And, and then they gonna believe in you later. Yeah. Make them. For sure. For sure. Any last words you wanna let the peoples know? I just want to let y'all know, all my supporters, the whole world, I love y'all. If you don't know me, you're going to know me soon. You feel what I'm saying? Zombie so Taliban. <laughs> hey, and that Naughty World coming soon. I promise. Hey, remember, I said it right here first. I'm going number one. I put it on Naughty. You feel me?